Hi guys, welcome to the Nosy Southern channel. My thoughts and reviews on celebrity news, gossip, and entertainment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you won't miss out on any new videos. Don't forget to like, share, and comment as well. All right, with that out the way, let's go ahead and get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nosy Southerner channel. So let's talk about Black China. So if you haven't heard, an anonymous call was made to CPS, which is Child Protective Services, on Black China a few days ago on January 20th for child neglect. So a source is saying that the cops rushed to Black China's house after a 911 caller accused her of neglecting her daughter Dream while under, while under the influence. So it's been confirmed that officers responded to a disturbance at 6.40 p.m. at China's Woodland Hills home on Sunday, January 20th after the concerned person contacted the authorities to report that China was drunk and that her toddler was in jeopardy. So what happened was prior to the cops being called, Black China allegedly got into it with her makeup artist. The makeup artist thought China was high or drunk. China threw the makeup artist out of her house and wouldn't give her her makeup back after the whole little altercation, the makeup artist left, went and told her friends about what happened with Black China, and then that's when someone called 911. So sources are saying that China immediately assumed it was Rob Kardashian that initially made the call. Now she said that China thinks the makeup artist story somehow quickly got back to Rob, and then someone who knows Rob called 911. She thinks this is just another attempt to paint her as a bad mother, but this had nothing to do with the kids. It was all about the makeup artist. So now, apparently the makeup artist was so allegedly upset by the incident that they contacted a lawyer and now they're taking legal action against Black China over just throwing her out of her house and wouldn't give her makeup back. Now she want to call the cops on her. But anyway, now Black China is clapping back at the claims and has apparently hired a lawyer. So this past Tuesday, Black China's attorney, Lynn Sini from the Bloom Firm, stated that an anonymous caller reported to the Department of Child Protective Services that they falsely reported China to CPS. Now, um, Black China and her attorney made a statement saying that her children King, Cairo, and Dream are doing very well and are both healthy. Now, um, she she made a statement saying that they were never in any danger and any reports to the contrary are entirely false. Anyone who submits a knowingly false report to Child Protective Services may be subjected to criminal and civil liability. Now, the cops who responded to the scene on the 20th spoke to Black China and her nanny and determined that Dream and King were not in any danger so far and that no one has publicly come forward saying who made the false reports against China. Wow. Now girl, this is a hot mess. Now I'm not touching this with a 10 foot pole, honey. When you start calling CPS on people just to get back at them, you have officially gone too far. Now, what if they would have really taken this woman's children from her? Then what? And you you going making false claims? Uh-uh, that's, that's stooping too low. But anyway, like I said, I'm not touching it. I want you guys to go ahead and tell me what do you think about CPS being called on Black China? Do you think it was really one of the allegedly makeup artist friends? Or could it have been Rob Kardashian? I don't think he would have done that, but who knows? But I want you guys to tell me what you think below. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I want you guys to have a good day. Bye.